It's so hard going into these judging scenarios. I'm judging the dish based on the thoughtful intention. I'm not judging it based on who made it, what team they're on. Just look at these dishes with that Italian influence. I'm excited to see how everyone has elevated their dish with these amazing mushrooms. Uh, Richard, shall we start with your team? Top floor, please. Sure. Yes. Okay, yes. okay. This chef has prepared pan-seared chicken scallopini and an impasta. This really looks beautiful. Definite restaurant quality. Really nice to transform something as basic as a squash and elevate it. The last two cooks didn't pan out the way I wanted, so there's definitely pressure on me showing the mentors that I deserve to be here. Chicken okay, okay, okay. Like, I want to win. Chicken's cooked beautifully. Mm -hmm. For me, it's lacking a little bit of salt, but gorgeous. Gorgeous. Whoever cooked that, what a stop. <laughs> the next dish, it's a lamb chop with one eggplant raviolo. Please let it be cooked. Beautiful. Gorgeous. <sighs> it's a beautiful balance of sweetness and gaminess. But just a touch thinner on the ravioli. All right, next up, spicy shrimp capellini. This chef took the hanshimeji mushrooms and pureed them right into the cream sauce. Shrimp and nails. I love the heat there. Just sort of dances across my palate. All right, next dish up here is spaghetti and clams, and then also toasted breadcrumbs on top to sort of give textural contrast. Please let that be cooked through, baby. Being on the top level with the top ingredients, there is no excuse for you not to crank out some of the best food you possibly can. I don't know who cooked this, but it looks like it's been cooked by a pro. What they've managed to do is cook everything to absolute utter perfection. Oh, father, son, and Casey Musgraves over here, baby. I'm just like, <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Definitely from the top floor, that's for sure. I'm feeling good about my team's dishes. I think everyone stepped to the plate today. Hopefully, we can find a winner on this team. We got four authentically Italian dishes here. Right, should we move to the middle floor? This one is a hand-rolled cut upper deli. Wow. It's done on a veal chop. Mushrooms stood out beautifully. Pasta is definitely a little thick for a pappardelle, but the veal is cooked beautifully. Good job, Kenny. You ready to go, the move? This person wanted to do a take on a fish stew. Looks like it could be served in an upscale Italian restaurant. The gnocchi's a bit tough to get behind. Today, this individual decided to forego the protein and then did the most amazing gnocchi. This is exciting, it looks vibrant. I'm getting a, a lot of this umami and sort of earthiness. I'm assuming that's coming from the mushrooms. That sauce is delicious. Now, this one was a uh, take on a tagliatelle. No protein, fresh ricotta. That ricotta is wonderful, a really nice flavor. Pasta a little bit overcooked. It's a bit toothsome. In an Italian challenge, I overcook my pasta. Elimination challenge, here I come. This was starting out to make an incredible pesto. We had no pine nuts, so this individual depended on that crunch from the breadcrumbs. It's missing ingredients. It's naked and afraid. <laughs> to me, it's underdressed and mildly uncomfortable. Oh, my god. If you don't have pine nuts to make the pesto, change the plan. Yes, we're mentoring you, but understand that there's two of the floors that are absolutely on their game. There are a lot of good dishes on my team, but not all of them were next level. There's one floor left to judge, and I'm hoping Team Ramsey can stay out of that elimination cook. Final floor. OK, so this chef created a lobster farfalle with a focaccia breadcrumb on top. Wow. How the frick did a lobster end on the basement floor? <laughs> lobster made it to the basement. What the hell is going on those top two floors? Man. It's lobster. It's either terrible or glorious. Hmm. Whoever cooked this dish, they know their The girl that grabbed the lobster is not a jerk. She's a genius. I just proved myself in the basement with a live lobster. I'm a badass chef. OK, we have a pork meatball here with a rigatoni. This person used cream of mushroom soup uh, as their sauce base. Cream mm. of mushroom soup in a can. Wow. In a can. If you told me it was a fresh mushroom sauce, I would have believed you, mm. because it tastes that good. Next up, feta stuffed artichoke mm. with a whipped mascarpone sauce over fusilli pasta. What's going on with the creativity in the basement down there? Those ovens are older than Martha Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> 
That is good. Sort of two dishes going on here. Both happen to be tasty, which is great. So this chef has created a meatball prepared with breakfast sausage with crispy squash blossoms. Smart choice of breakfast sausage. The flavor's there. Where's the mushrooms? I'm starting to identify the mushrooms. Last but not least, we have our first flatbread, oyster mushrooms and crispy pancetta, and it has a marsala sauce around the outside. It was a little undercooked. We can't eat raw flour like that. That's just yeah, a big no-no. But I love the pork, and I love the pancetta. Yes, good effort. Was my team perfect? No, there's definitely room for improvement. I'm just hoping that we did enough to survive another round. I had to put up someone for elimination last time. I do not want to be put in that position again. Give us a moment, please. I have to say the Italian dishes turned out fantastic. But even though we're all mentors and we all want to win, we never play favorites when it comes to the best dish. I think what I'm super excited about is that clams and spaghetti. I would agree. Uh, it's incredible. The flavor and the texture. So whoever cooked that, they gave me a taste of Italy. Mm -hmm. Totally. Was very surprised to see lobster on that platform, and, and she did a great job breaking that down. Lobster was delicious. Lobster was delicious. Have we decided then? Yeah. Yes. There's no doubt. Only one of these dishes truly stood out as being the best of the best. The spaghetti and clams. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Culinary Giants telling you that you had the best dish out of 14 people who know how to cook is so exciting. Congrats, Team Trailblazers. I am feeling relieved that I don't have to pick one of my chefs to go up into that pressure cooker on the third floor. Unfortunately, that means Gordon and Naisha, you each have to pick one of your chefs to battle it out in the elimination. I do not like the suspense. I don't like the waiting. I want to stay as far away from elimination as I can. Uh, this is hard. The person I'm sending through to elimination is... This is hard. I'm tired. I am really tired. This is a tough choice. Royce failed yet again to get the right amount of ingredients to show how good he is. But Trisha and Devaney both overcooked their pasta. I need to have that next level chef on my team. The person I'm sending through to the elimination is... Royce, you're in the elimination, young man. Understand the competition. Sometimes you're just breezing. You're not giving me your all. You've got one more chance. Cook me something that is solid. I'm not in this business to lose. Is that clear? Yes, Chef. I am not ready to go home. I'm going to show Chef Ramsay all the skills that I have and hope that that's enough to keep me in the competition. Naisha? It's not easy for me. So I have Piet on one hand who completely ignores the mushrooms, and I have a dough that is completely undercooked. How do you choose between that? Cooking a great dish, it doesn't happen by chance. It comes with a lot of focus, integrity, and it's not just cooking fast. Zach, we're gonna see you cook again. This is not gonna get you anywhere. This is just, I'm doing the least, right? Yes, chef. Focus. Oh, I got, Intention. I, got, I got a fire in me right now. It's about to erupt. Neither of you got the job done in the first round, and now both of you will head into the elimination round. Royce, Zach, you can stay here. The rest of you, you can head to the elevator and we'll meet you in the kitchen. We got this, guys. Thank you, thank you. We got it, bud. Chef Naisha, I'm sorry I let you down. I have a lot of pride as a chef. I'm ready to redeem myself and prove why I'm here. 